Welcome back to Malita's Delicacies. Back again with yet another interesting and exciting recipe for all Goans. And all seafood lovers would just love these oysters. The lady who supplies me these uh, oysters at home, Maria from Asolna, had invited me to show and uh, to demonstrate it to you how these kalvas are being harvested and how they are opened. Now here I have got this kalvas opened once but then you know the, a small tiny piece of the shell sometimes remains on attached to these oysters so it needs to be removed so that when you are eating it it doesn't get into your mouth not all have but some do remain so you need to you know feel it on your fingers slightly and remove them discard them and wash them in their own waters first because sometimes some sand remains on them but mostly in these kalvas uh, they call them kalva dore you know they just go and collect it in the bay and uh, at when they, once they are brought up on the show then they break open them so they are with less of sand compared to the rock ones now here i have got my oysters cleaned thoroughly well and i washed them as well they are quite a decent size to make these kalvans or roes or you know it is also called as kalva che tonda or the oyster masala as it might be called in different parts of the konkan region kalvas or the oysters are not only common in goa but they are common in most part of the, the coastal konkan region now here i have taken about 1 cup of slightly roasted coconut i've just taken uh, the coconut and slightly roasted it you can see and to this i'm adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder this is my homemade turmeric powder the home grown turmeric and here i am taking about 2 tablespoon of coriander seeds two petals of stone flower and four petals of star anise i always tell in my recipes wherever i use a star anise to break open the petal and remove the individual seed in each petal because this seed in the of star anise gives a bitter taste to your once the dish is ready so always remove and discard it i have here about half of mace or what we commonly call the jai patri i have here kankon chilies about 10 12 depending upon how much spicy you want a small piece of nutmeg two green cardamoms and few cloves the cloves are about 8 here a small piece of cinnamon stick and 1 teaspoon of peppercorns and half teaspoon of cumin seeds here i have about 4 pieces of monkey jack a saring agent you can use tamarind instead but these are highly nutritious i have already roasted my onion in the coal Now let's slightly dry roast all these ingredients all the spices first on low flame always roast your spices on low flame because if they get burned the whole taste of your dish will completely change slightly dry roast till they turn little aromatic and you know even before they change their color then add 1 teaspoon of oil to it this will enhance the flavor and friends if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed already then please do subscribe my channel now and press the bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video once it has slightly changed its color remove from the pan and let it cool before you grind it 
Now here I have a small piece of peeled ginger and three cloves of garlic and my roasted onion here. You can roast the onion, cut and roast the onion on the frying pan also. But since I had my fire burning, I roasted it in the coal. In fact, I feel the coal roasted onion is more flavorful than the uh, onion which you roast on the frying pan. Grind your masala coarsely and then add your roasted coconut to it and grind it with little water to a fine smooth paste. In a wok, take about a 3 tablespoon of oil. To that add one large chopped onion and saute it till it is nice and translucent. To this add one tomato, my medium sized tomato. Saute this also till it is nice and mushy. To hasten the process, add just a pinch of salt. Once this is done, add the ground masala to it and saute it slightly. Mix it in the onion and tomato. Now make sure that you do not overuse the masala for oysters because oysters have a very distinct flavor of it. If you overuse the masala paste, then the oyster taste will be submerged. Add a very little water to your mixer jar and add that water. To this add about a handful of cut into small pieces potatoes this is totally optional the potatoes are added to oysters just to make the dish substantial to this add your oysters and mix them now oysters will release their own water and you know the consistency will get adjusted itself so do not get tempted to add any extra water at this stage remember friends oysters are very high in nutrition especially they are very good for people who are anemic they are rich in iron they are rich in calcium and they are high in zinc they are highly nutritious so when in season do buy and enjoy these oyster delicacies you know once in a way they are very very healthy add salt as required for taste to this add about one sleet green chili now this is my non-spicy green chili it will only add a flavor and not make the dish spicy give it a good mix let it boil for about five to six minutes occasionally give it a stir so that it doesn't stick to the bottom you can see the oysters have released a lot of its water and they are getting cooked in it after about seven to eight minutes do the taste test at this stage add a handful of fresh coriander and give it a mix let it simmer for two three minutes and your oyster masala is ready to be served the aroma is so pleasing and so tempting friends do try this recipe at your home now in summers when oysters are in season enjoy this delicacy with your family and friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe to melita's delicacies for more exciting recipes that i upload every week for you See you next week with yet another exciting recipe from my kitchen to yours. Until then, keep watching Melita's Delicacies. Thank you for all your love and support. God bless.